Juicy. Yo. Nevy. Yo, P.I., you wanna come on? Hey. Rich nigga shit, calamari. I don't pump fake on the split, I'm so sorry. 2 page, slide now, block with a blue ray. Extend the clip, we movie game. Your boyfriend, like, oh, she came. Went and took her anyway. Now you want his girl back. Fuck you, have a nice day. Alright, guys, we are now headed to the USC football facilities where Nick Muse, number nine, starting tight end for the team, is gonna give us a little tour of what they got going on. Hey, hey, what's, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, what's what's up? Up? Nice to meet you. How y'all doing? Good, how are you, bro? Good. I'm chilling. Yeah. So this is uh, like uh, you'll touch a helmet and it'll vibrate, and then like right there it'll pull up like who played here that played for that team. So like if you, if you clicked on uh, Carolina Panthers and you clicked, it'd be names, it'd be JC Horn, blah blah. Yo, that is sick. Oh, that's cool. It actually vibrates. Me. So this will be our morning where we eat. That's like uh, all conference players, all American players, academics, bowl games we've been to. Got a barber shop, just like you know everybody else is starting to put it in there nowadays. Barber, yeah. we just got new cleats for this game. We get about four or five pair a year. You got the players lounge, full ping pong, a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff to put this in. You can come here to take naps. I watch the NFL draft in here. Oh yeah. It's in here on Thursdays just to keep everybody cool and like a fresh little rewind of what we're working on this weekend. This is sick. This facility is dope, dude. Whatever I turned in last night and today, I'll open up. My stuff's there. The media team also has this to where they'll, you know, they show and tell for recruits. They'll put a Heisman trophy right there. All right, I appreciate this guy, Nick. I appreciate you a ton. Sports, USC always. tight, starting tight end. This guy's an absolute beast. Big game this weekend. It's homecoming, man, yes, uh, against Vandy. State Fair just started. Uh, sure. It's gonna be a amazing crowd and uh, Nick News on Instagram two underscores in between All right, appreciate y'all appreciate y'all boys Wednesday night yeah, heading oh. to Jake's on Divine we have a fucking car booth man yeah, it's like a bus it's a mini bus, a bus. I'm also Bruce you with us how are we doing how are we doing ladies South and gentlemen South Carolina hometown yes. boy Game Cock Nation be... uh, listen we're ready to go we're ready we're gonna absolutely go fucking crazy tonight at Jake's yes, sir. Wednesday night Jake's everybody in South Carolina knows this is where it's at Let's dude go. you know it's a good party school when their best night is a fucking Wednesday yeah. Facts, bro. Fucking go Gamecock! That was bad, that was bad, that was bad. First one, it's like a respect thing. And you know, <laughs> All that out your name shit, that ain't my heart right now, Chip, he's got runaways. Please pray for the guy. Donate down below. Brew, take it away, man. Yeah, he's so damn bad, dude. He has his runaways. He can't even drink, dude. He's pretty much not even living right now, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm fearing for his life right now, guys. Please donate yeah, down below. Yeah, donate ASAP, like pray, Rocky, dude. Pray for Chip. Pray for Chip, guys. Please. No, hey. I'm already fucked. Not done. But these guys right here, they're trying to get me four fucked up. That's damn dope, dog. We're gonna make him yak again. We're gonna make him yak again. Macaron, my daddy. What's going on guys here at Kai Sai? They're gonna get a tour of their place. Allegedly um, one of the nicest, uh, if this not the nicest the nice, nice fraternity house, house on campus. So we're gonna check it out with them. We're gonna do a little tour. See you guys there. What's up guys? Welcome to Kai Sai. Good morning. What's going on? What's going on? This is our library, name time, stuff like that. That's where everyone comes to study. It's also our chapter room. It's our uh, TV room where we watch football on Sundays and Saturdays if we're not having a tailgate. We got our composites all lined up on the walls over there. 
in here we got our pool room. Uh, when we're not playing pool or if we're not, we use that table over there for dinner. Uh, some people eat or study over there because we can close these doors and it's pretty soundproof in here. Over here is where we have uh, dinner, or at least we'll have some tables and chairs set up. In there is a full functioning kitchen. Oh yeah. Out here, nice little patio area. Any given day of the week, you'll have 15, 20 kids out here playing basketball. Five on fives, four on fours. It's our balcony. I have a fish shoot basketball from up here. Vinny, you better make it. Fuck it, right here. Yup. Oh, that's going on. That's definitely going on. <laughs> So in here, it's like classic room set up. All right, boys, thank you so much for the Pride yeah. Tour. Absolutely. If you guys are Absolutely. coming to South Carolina, check out Kai Sai. Probably the nicest house on campus is from what I've heard and from what we've seen today. I'm up for great things about the tailgate. Thank you guys so much. Absolutely. Let's fucking go. See, See you tomorrow. tomorrow. We are headed right now. Cotton Gin, well, pregame to Cotton Gin. I'm feeling electric with my NASCAR fucking fit. I can't see where we're going, but we're still <laughs> rocking right now. I miss the body catcher, slaughter gang, soul snatcher. Ain't no regular F150, this a fucking rapper. Yeah. No South Carolina, where the Gamecocks are taking on the Vanderbilt fuckheads. So we got bets for today. Lucky quarter came in absolutely clutch in North Carolina, going 80%, four for five. So we're bringing it back today. I need you guys to comment down below what you think this quarter is gonna go before you see it. Pause the video. I'm thinking another 80% today. We're going for four for five. We're gonna go five bets, and we're gonna start off with the South Carolina Vanderbilt spread. Jesus. Plus 18 and a half, minus 18 and a half. <laughs> this one is a big boy, but we like the 50-50 odds. Heads. South Carolina is going for a big, big, big dub today. Over, under. Take me back, baby. Over. Heads. Uh. Under. Tails. Heads. Spread and over. We're having a fucking shootout today. I love to see it. Nick Muse, two touchdowns. Next up, over under team points. Going up, over heads, under tails. You guys know the deal. No, oh, what is You let it play it as lies. Under. Okay. See, I don't like that. And we'll do a Vandy over under as well. No, I don't need shit. The quarter tells me what I need. Heads. Boom. It's All right. Any team to score 40 plus points. No. Yes. Heads. No. <laughs> tails. Hold the mic. Over. Boom. Heads. Yes. There you go. That's for today. Yes. 40 plus points. South Carolina spread over total. South Carolina under third and four and a half. That doesn't make so much sense. But Vandy. Over. over. Run this total of Big points. game, lots of points. I like this game. I like the vibes today. It's hot, it's gonna be 30, and I'm gonna fuck a bitch. <laughs> All right, South Carolina, Vandy's today. I got four bets placed down. I got South Carolina for the uh, spread. Put down a couple bucks. I think that's gonna be an absolute lock today. I got uh, first score of the game is not gonna be a touchdown. I love the odds on this, so I think it's an absolute steal. I won it last week, I don't want it again this week. I got South Carolina and Vandy for the under. I think it's gonna be a low scoring game. These guys, not high flying offenses, so hammer that fucking under today. Will there be a scoreless quarter? I said yes to that. The odds of this are unbelievable. If I win, I'm making 100 bucks off this. So. And then last bet of the day, I got long Longest touchdown under 54 and a half yards. I hit it last week. I'm gonna hit it again this week. Thanks to Bet Online for the bets, baby. Cheers. All right, it's a new day. I have lost the past four weeks. I'm in red. I haven't seen fucking green since Michigan. Camera guys checking out girls. Four bets today. Hammering Gamecocks today. Gamecocks by spread. But I don't think it's gonna be that much of a blow. I got the under. Okay, repeat the under. Vandy, you fucking stink. They'll be lucky to get a touchdown. And my final score. I'm gonna have the first score of the game because the odds were looking good. Field goal. No touchdown. First score of the game. I'm gonna repeat 
South Carolina by spread, uh, cover the 18. Vandy with the under, 14 and a half. Uh, under the total game, 50 and a half. And first score of the game is a field goal. I don't give a fuck. I'm here to chant Go Cox for three and a half hours. Fuck you, Vandy, you piece of shit. All right, I got a lot of bets in today. First one, I got over for the game. Next one, South Carolina for the spread. I also got a couple prop bets in there. I got under of 54 and a half yards, touchdown. I said first score of the game, touchdown, no. First team to score, Vanderbilt. Last team to score, Vanderbilt. And under six minutes for the first touchdown.
fucked up for the USC rating. We got athletics. I gave it an 8.4. Athletics in 8.5. Athletics 8.2. Athletics, I'm going 8.6. I think low key it may have been the best game yet, just in terms of the fact that yeah. Vandy's a shit team, but they were down by, by six points, and then South Carolina. Bench their starting quarterback after throwing two picks. Bring in the fucking 25 year old quarterback. Yes. Drives him down, wins the game, and the crowd was fucking. Bumping. That was so electric. Also, really good facilities. I think this does go down because like people left at half. I yep. also think a lot of people didn't make it because the loss was a fucking incredible. So I think people were blackout. But I go 8-6 because that was the most fun I had at the game. I gave you 8.2 because of the fact that there was still a lot of people that left the game and your team came fucking back. Yes. Like, stay. It would have been even more electric yeah. if the whole fucking stadium was filled. Because they're used to their team losing. Exactly. Yeah. Still very electric, though. Also, Nick Muse gave us the facility tour. Yes. Incredible facilities. Great guy. Yeah. And then when we went to the game, he got a fucking touchdown and then a big catch yeah. at the Massive. end. Last drive to help them win the game. All right, Greek life. I just want to say, Thursday night, um, cotton Gin, we had an 80s themed event with AE Pie. It was a good time, I had fun. The Fraternity Lots, which is the tailgate, they said best tailgate in the nation. They talked the talk, they walked the walk. Bro, I gave Greek Life a 9.1 to me. 8.9 Greek Life. 8.9 voice for Greek Life as well. Oh, oh, <laughs> was because of the fact that their tailgate, oh fucking incredible. incredible. Felt like I was out of rave, like Chip said, but it didn't crack the nines for me because they can't host anything on their property. Yep. And that Greek village that it we works. were just at, beautiful, phenomenal houses, beautiful. gorgeous. They don't throw down at all. They it's can just, throw down a party just, at that It's house. a residence. All right, bar scene. 8-3. We got 8-3 on the bar scene as well. Like, 8.2 bar scene. I got an 8-3 on the bar scene. We did not talk oh, yeah, about this, this at all. We're going off at the bar scene. First night at Jake's. It was a good time, great atmosphere. Just a little more chill vibe. Hot and gin. Again, it was rented out by a frat, but it's a pretty good venue. I think there's yeah. a lot going on. You can have a little rave in there. Yep. They have a great area. They have a great five area. Five points. Yep. And apparently they had like 20 bars yes. prior to COVID. After COVID and a lot of like alcohol um, licenses being taken away, yep. they're down to seven. Um, and I do I do think with having a lot of options, that is good. And that's why it made the eights to me. But again, like you said, the bar life isn't as bumping as it used to. So it was a low eight for me. It's, but I it's also bump. nice too, because you can walk wherever you want. You yes. know? If one yes. place isn't bumping, Literally yeah. right next door. I'm gonna yeah. go to another bar. Oh. Hey, to put it in perspective, we went out on a Wednesday night and it was and packed. it was packed. Yeah. UNC Wednesday night, 20 people there. Yeah. Total score South Carolina. Wow. Total score strong for me. I got an 8.7. Cool so far. 8.4 for me. That I got an 8.6, boys. An 8.5. Up four. All right, guys. Yeah. We're rounding up, right? Yeah. This is the official score of South Carolina. The new highest yes. school. In 8-6 on the board. Yes, yeah, that's bro. deserving. South Carolina. That is deserving, baby. Very deserving. Let's Shout go. out Columbia, we had a great man. Time Shout out Columbia. Columbia. Best tailgate in the nation, and I don't think anybody is going to top that tailgate. Boom. But, but. but. Who do we have next week? Alabama. Alabama. I'm coming to see you, Nick. All right, guys, make sure, comment, like, subscribe, comment what you guys think is going to be the number one school on the tour. And if you think Bama is going to top USC, but South Carolina, God, you guys, you guys walk the walk, you can talk the talk, too. Statement, I need a PSA. I do not fuck with country. 12 in the corner, me and the dog getting out. Got 27 colors, this Versace couch.